Hello everyone, welcome to Senior Pablo TV. Today we will be discussing inverse function. Okay, first let us define the inverse function. The inverse function is the relation formed when the independent variable is exchanged with the dependent variable in a given relation. So let us explain. We know that independent variable stands for our horizontal line horizontal line which is our x-axis then the dependent variable is our vertical line which is our y-axis then if we're going to interchange the two the horizontal or the x-axis to y-axis, that will be the inverse function. And put in mind that the inverse of a function may not always be a function. So to better understand, uh, kindly check our um, videos about relations and factors. Now let's have this example. Find the inverse of 2, 0, 3, negative 1, 4, 0, and 5, 4. So let's just interchange the value of x to the value of y. So our answer is 0, 2, just interchange. Negative 1, 3, 0, 4, and 4, 5. Okay. Take a look at our answer. Is it a function or not? So we define a function if no x coordinate must be repeated. So take a look. We have two zeros is our x. So that means this is not a function. So always put in mind, our remember, the inverse of a function may not always be a function. So that, this is on how to uh, find the inverse of our coordinates. What if we have an equation? Let's say our example number one. Number one, find the inverse. of x minus 4. Oh, f of x is equal to x minus 4. So we have our four steps to find the inverse of a function if the given is an equation. So I will write the four steps so that uh, you will know all the step-by-step -step process. Number one, replace f of x to y. Number two, interchange and y. Number three, solve the new, solve the new y from the equation in step two. The equation in step number two. And last, Number four, replace the new y with f of negative. Replace the new y with f raised to negative one, that the inverse of x. This is the inverse of x if the inverse is a function. 
if the inverse is a function. Is a function. Okay. So let us try to apply our steps in our example number one. Replace f of x to y. So y. Replace y is equal to x minus 4. Replace to y. Next, interchange x and y. So, our y change to x. x. And our x change to y. Now, step number three, solve the new y from the equation in step two. Let us solve the y. So let us transpose y. So that will become negative y is equal to transpose x, negative x, then copy minus 4. Transpose, that will become negative y is equal to transpose negative x minus 4. Now, solve for y. So, to solve y, let us eliminate the negative. So, multiply the equation by negative. So, this will become y because negative times negative, that is positive y. Is equal to negative times negative, this will become positive x. Negative times negative, this will become positive times negative. We know that this is a function. So, replace the new y with inverse of x. So inverse of x is equal to x plus 4. This is now our final answer. The inverse of x minus 4 is x plus 4. Okay, that is on how to solve the inverse of a function. Now I want you to try 2x plus 3. Erase this. Then try 2x. 2x plus 3. Okay. This is 2. 2x plus 3. If you want to write, please pause the video. Then, if you are done answering, resume watching. Please check your work. So, let us solve. So, replace. This will become y is equal to 2x plus 3. And now, interchange y, it will become x. And x, it will become y. Then copy it. Now solve for y. So transpose negative 2y is equal to transpose negative x plus 3. Now solve for y. Divide by negative 2 to eliminate our numerical coefficient. Negative so, y is equal to negative divided by negative, that will become x. Then negative, a positive divided by negative, minus 3 all over. This is now our inverse of function f of negative. Inverse of x is equal to x minus 3 over. And so this is now our final answer. So that's it. Now that is that is the inverse of a function. Just apply our four basic steps. So if you are in the right path in solving, then you can come up with the correct answer.
So that's the inverse of a function. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV. Stay tuned for the next video.